information, uh, the, the danger of things paralleling out of uh, control, it will be best that the leadership of the MDC addresses a press conference to set the record straight in relation to the demonstration that we have planned and has been requested by the population uh, uh, tomorrow. Uh, with me here is the President of uh, the MDC, Advocate Nelson Chamisa, and uh, the Vice President, and the rest of the leadership in the Standing Committee. So our press conference will be structured uh, as, as this. The President will probably give uh, opening, just opening remarks as customary. Uh, Okay, so pro probably I will then speak to the issues. It will be in two parts. We, we are planning, as you know, a demonstration. We have received the necessary clearance from the police. We, we, okay. we, we have notified the police. As you are aware, the Constitution does not require for clearance. Uh, the Constitution simply states that we should, we have a right to demonstrate. Then. We give notice to the police, and this was elaborated by the High Court in the judgment uh, by uh, Justice Makarao. Now that just that judgment was clear in that we simply notified the police, which we've done. We notified them seven days ago for the 29th. We have agreed with them the route as the custom. We have agreed with them the need for their protection and what they have to do in terms of the law. I'll quickly ask them to address what uh, George Charamba, the Estuar spokesperson uh, of the uh, President Mugabe, and now a uh, spokesperson or whatever he's calling himself in the President's office. He issued a statement that seems to place the liability of demonstration on demonstrators and the liability of the demonstration on us. That is erroneous at law and it is also an er erroneous effect. The police are enjoined by the Constitution to protect demonstrators. The police are enjoined by the Constitution to provide a safe passage to anyone who wants to express themselves freely in Zimbabwe. It is upon them agreeing to provide that protection, provide the main power to assure that the demonstration will not be disturbed by urgent provocateurs, the demonstration will not have people who will come in from Uzumba Maramba Fungwe, as has been indicated, or from ZANU PF, as you saw the statement by the Youth League and their statements that they've put out. The police are there to ensure that no one interferes with the constitutional right of Zimbabweans. So I thought that we needed to set out, out clearly that the protection of demonstrators and non demonstrators alike is on the police. We are convening a peaceful demonstration. We have complied with our constitution and we have complied with our law and we expect all state organs to also comply with the law. So we are proceeding in terms of the law and not in any terms of pronouncement by any other arm of government. We will be responsible for our, our demonstrators, we'll have our marshals, we'll have everything that we've done in the past according to how we have done it. The issues. The demonstration is a people's demonstration. And we need to underline that. The demonstration is a people's demonstration. The people have demanded this demonstration. They have asked us to be able to lead from the front, not only us, but various sectors of society. And those sectors are namely the churches, who are invited and will turn up, the students who are suffering from not paying school fees, the civil servants, the police, the army, all sectors of society, the vendors, the farmers, from all corners of the country. They will converge here in Arari. We are receiving messages, we are receiving phone calls. Some people are already moving to come and be part of this demonstration. It is indeed not only an MDC demonstration, but a people's demonstration. And we need to underline that. And the issues that we need to deal with in this demonstration is not that there is still a campaign or anything that is happening. We are dealing with issues of bread and butter, issues that affect everyday lives. 
We've got the usurious 2% tax that has been put on the people. We've got the various excise duties that have been put on petrol and diesel, which will lead to inflation. We've got the shortages in the shops. We've got the shortages of petrol and diesel. We've got the shortages of money itself. The bond note has dramatically failed as an instrument of the economy. We've got issues around health, pharmacies. There is nothing in the stores. There is nothing in the hospitals. There is nothing to buy for people. We've got the use of the US dollar. The use of the US dollar is a medium of currency for duty, for pharmacies, for everything that one needs to buy. And that use of the US dollar is problematic in the sense that we, we, it's not there. You cannot force people to pay with what you have. So since it's the people's demonstration, there will be no regalia. If one feels they need to wear something that is of uniform, preferably white. There will not be no regalia in the sense that we have spoken to stakeholders and they said they want all to feel welcome to come to this demonstration. Everyone wants to be part of this demonstration. As such, our organizing department and the party leadership has decided that it is not necessary at this juncture to have regalia with our faces. All will be welcome, all will free welcome. We will have a neutral color because this will all be done in peace. White is the color of peace. White is the color of love. White is the color that everybody can associate with. So if anyone feels that they need to be in uniform with their wife or husband, girlfriend or boyfriend, whichever case, then white. But we will welcome everybody in whatever apparel they will be wearing, whatever clothes that they will have on them. These are the people's issues. The demonstration is, a, is for the people and it is not for a partisan affair. It is a neutral affair. We have also to emphasize that there is a need for a solution. We have listed the problems that the country is facing, but we need a solution. And the solution is the route that was elaborated a few days ago by our president and the national chairperson, the deputy national chairperson before the commission. They outlined the route, the route to legitimacy, the route to dialogue. Accordingly, we will be giving a petition to parliament, to the speaker of parliament, because it is the body that receives the petitions. And the issue is to bring legitimacy. I will hand over to the organizing department to elaborate more on the route and more on how we will proceed. And it will be done safely. The police have assured <coughs> us that they will be there to guarantee our safety. There is no fear. They are, we've got marshals and everybody will be traveling safely. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Mosemer. Uh, um, uh, before I give an update on how I'm going to move, I just want to uh, say that those with their church uniforms, they are also free to come wearing the church uniforms. We are going to start at Africa Inter Square and then march along Jason Moyo <coughs> Avenue. Then from there we go to Lebo Takawira. Then from there we go to Samora Mashao. Uh, after that we move on to uh, Julius Nyerere and then we get to Nelson Mandela, then back to Africa Inter Square where our president will give uh, an address uh, to, 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 the, to the delegates. Uh, what I want to say is that uh, we did receive reports that there are some people, uh, Zanpev people, uh, we are coming from, from Uzumba, but we've since reported the matter to the, to the police, and uh, I'm sure the police will, will deal with them. Because our demonstration is been highlighted by our spokesperson, is a peaceful demonstration. We are not going to tolerate any violence. If there's anybody who's going to engage in violence, our marshals will do what to call citizen arrest and make sure that everything will be done in order. Thank you. Thank, thank, you, thank you so much, Organ. We are open for questions or clarifications. If uh, there are any, we just thought that we needed to bring you here 
and we'll be able to clarify that the demonstration is going ahead. Are there any questions? Is it a sign of happiness? Or you want to rush to meet the deadline? Yeah, maybe I would want to hear from the patients. There are reports that uh, you are pushing this demonstration. There are reports that you are pushing this demonstration uh, to coerce Zanfie into negotiating with you, uh, probably form the government of national unity to, to make them feel the key of the plans. Can you clarify? Well, we have stated the issues in relation to this demonstration. I went to great length to outline the purpose of this demonstration and that it is coming from the people. The people need redress. They need legitimacy, they need solutions, and they need them now. The form and shape that the solutions will take is up to those who construct the political issues. But what we are clear, this demonstration is there to express what every Zimbabwean is feeling and is being given in relation to the issues that I've outlined and you have seen in the rallies, we have gone round, round the country. The people have asked us to be in the streets with them for them to be able to express how they feel. One or two last ones? Um, um, <coughs> we as Zimbabweans are facing a lot of problems um, economically, socially, etc. After the demonstration, then what? What are you hoping to achieve? And will government or ZNPF listen to you? Just recently we had the head of state actually saying they won't be sounding you. And you guys, they really do not care about what you guys will be doing. What do you hope to achieve with this demonstration? <coughs> and what's the way forward for Zimbabwe? Okay, the last one, so that we will just ask you. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, my name is uh, Maybe you can explain. There's a clip which has been circulating on social media. Maybe you can explain uh, what was happening and uh, if there's anything we should Let's discuss that after the demonstration. Uh, the world leadership is here, as you can see. The world leadership is smiling, as you can see. It's ready to lead from the front. <laughs> it is in direct. So therefore, we will discuss any other issues that are unrelated to the needs of the people after the demonstration. Now, to address the issues of the needs of the people, we are, it is undisputable that President Nelson Chamisa won this election. Whatever opinion Munangago has in his head, about whether he won or <coughs> for his own business. We are clear that he did not get any result that indicated that he is a winner. But that be as it may, the people have issues. And those are the issues we are going to be dealing with tomorrow. The people have got problems that they are facing. We have put out a five-point plan that clearly outlines the route out of this crisis. That five-point plan is the restoration to legitimacy. And if we follow the five-point plan, we will be able to deal and have a solution. So when you say, then what? Then we follow the five-point plan and we'll be able to get the solution. But tomorrow, we are concentrating on expressing our unhappiness and solidarity with the people in the people's demonstration tomorrow and the issues that I've outlined. Thank you. Thank you. In addition, the petition tomorrow a copy which will be availed to you will have all the issues that we are facing, all the problems that we are facing, and most importantly, the solution to the crisis. <coughs> so you will have the, the petition which will circulate widely, which will be handed over to the relevant offices. Um, still. There are reports that the new PF is also having a cleanup campaign tomorrow <coughs> in the CBD. CBD. So how, we, how are you going to manage um, having the Zanipi PF supporters cleaning up and then you guys um, marching to parliament? <coughs> There's only one e event that, has been, that is taking place tomorrow and that event is the demonstration that we have 
done. We have agreed the modalities with the police. Our routes are very clear, as has been applied by the organizing secretary. We are going to be in that route. We are going to move. Yes. Uh, as you can hear, we will invite them to clean the city later. For tomorrow, we are going to be dealing with issues that I have outlined in the demonstration that we are going to have. So, I don't know. Thank you very much for coming. See you tomorrow in your numbers. Bring friends and family. It will be good. God bless you. Thank you.